In this video, we will give an overview of the photolithography bay. For complete details, please see our policies and procedures document. Photoresist and developers are hazardous chemicals. Remember to wear the appropriate PPE and only open bottles inside a fume hood. Nano3 supplies a variety of common photoresist in bulk containers. To use a resist for your own process, you must first dispense a small quantity into a small personal bottle. The following dispensing procedure must be followed correctly to minimize contamination. For example, dried resist on the bottle neck can cause particle contamination of the bulk or personal bottles. This may impact you or other users' processes through defect creation. First, gather the photoresist bottle of your choice along with the small bottle and label. In a fume hood, open the bulk container of resist and thoroughly clean the bottle cap and neck with acetone on a polyester wipe. Dispose of the wipe in the solid solvent trash. Carefully pour from the bulk container to your personal bottle. Pay attention not to spill or overflow the bottle. Clean the bottle cap and neck again with acetone. Label your personal resist bottle with your name, resist name, date of pour, and expiration date. Finally, return the bulk resist bottle to the storage area. There are a number of spinners. Some are dedicated for particular types of photoresist and solvents. Please pay attention to all posted signage. To use a spinner, first sign into the log sheet, then line the spinner bowl with foil or wipes. Now the spinner is ready for your recipe. When dispensing the resist, use the smallest quantity possible. After coating all your samples, thoroughly clean the inside of the spinner bowl with the allowed solvent and polyester wipes. Always leave the spinner in a clean condition after you are through. For baking, we offer a number of high uniformity hot plates. To reserve a plate, leave a note with your name, date, and process temperature in front of the hot plate. Before putting your sample on the hot plate, ensure the backside is free from photoresist. Never spray solvent directly on or near the hot plates. Exposure can now be performed on one of our contact aligners or direct right tools. Developing takes place in one of our two developer hoods or an acid base hood. Never develop in the stainless steel hoods. For TEMA containing developers, goggles, face shield, and a chemical resistant apron must be worn. In summary, only open photoresist bottles inside a chemical hood. Strictly adhere to resist dispensing procedures, remembering to clean the bottles before and after pouring. Label all personal bottles. For spinners, pay attention to posted signs regarding allowed resist and solvents. Line the spinner bowl before use and always clean your spinner afterwards. Ensure the backside of your wafer is clean before using the hot plates. Develop in designated fume hoods, wearing the correct PPE if using TEMA containing developers.